Two family, what is up? This is your boy Aaron Malpica with another low budget, low quality sneaker review coming for you. How's it going? I know it's been a while. Happy 4th of July to those who celebrate um, and to those who don't celebrate. Happy start of NBA silly season. Uh, it's been a rough 24 hours. My uh, favorite uh, player on the Utah Jazz just got traded to the Timberwolves. I'm super excited for him. Hopefully, Cat and hopefully Edwards and hopefully D'Lo can throw a better lob into the post than Conley or, or Mitchell ever could. So, you know, condolences. I'll miss you. I'll miss you, Rudy. I'll miss you. But anyways, guys, let's jump into this. Um, I picked up a new pair of Asics. As you guys know, my motto, don't sleep on Asics. Uh, you know, super, super underrated pair. I'm glad people slept on this. In fact, people slept on it so much that it was... It dropped on GOAT and StockX, and they were all selling all sizes, full size run for 110 bucks. So they initially retailed at 170, one, yeah, 170. So they dropped 60 bucks already. So if you guys are looking for a pair of high quality, good shoes, then check out this review. Anyways, guys, let's jump into it. Let's go. I actually really enjoy them more with the darker green laces, the ones that match the logo. Uh, the other ones are nice. I, I just felt like they blended too much with the the pigment on the on the suede out here. Now, something that I will say though, uh, Asics I feel like does a very good job of getting material, especially with collaborations. But I personally think their GRs are top notch as well. I haven't had any issues with them. Uh, there was one that had some defects, but that's because I bought them like second hand that had some scuffs on it. So I just turned those into my gym shoes. Um, but even those were great as well. They, they lasted a long time. Uh, there's what I like about them. There's, I've never had any like issues with like glue stains. Uh, the suede on the toe box is, it's not as, it's not as buttery as other. In fact, you can very, very hardly see some, it, it, it's not New Balance butter type, but I will say it's better than the Nike or Jordan brand when it comes to this stuff. Um, yeah, there's very little buttery. It, in fact, I wouldn't consider it buttery, uh, but guys, I mean, for 110 bucks, you're getting some stylish comfort. Um, I got my buddy or non hooked onto these as well, so I'm hoping I can convince him to get a pair of these on his own, so that way we can uh, match like my as friends always, do. When okay. buying a pair of basics, if you've never owned one in your life, I recommend going a half size up. Now I am a true 11, and I think that's pretty established across all brands. I will go into an 11 pretty comfortable. However, with Asics. And this is only due to the, the split tongue design. Oh, that's actually cool. I actually didn't notice. Oh, it actually has beauty of imperfection on the tongue on the inside right there. I didn't notice that. Right, let's see, is that better? I hope you guys can see that. Uh, but anyways, because of the split tongue, sometimes if you have a wider foot, like I do in my case, uh, sometimes depending on what the tongue is made out of, it'll be a little bit harder to cover your foot. Now this one, this material looks a little softer than like, for instance, which ones? on these vintage nylons, uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's because of the material. Uh, it's, I have to like 
squeeze them so that it like the tongues touch but then there's others that for instance like these that you know that are pretty straight comfortable without me having to do much work i don't know what it is about it maybe it's uh, the size thing but i would recommend going half size up if you have a wide foot uh that way you can ensure that the double split tongue will correctly caress your foot this has been a tip from the honey badger also some people complained in other youtube videos about the the insole the insole is made of like that cork screw material type thing i've never actually owned a pair that has corkscrew material i'm actually excited some people do say it can get pretty sticky on your foot which i'm not sure if that means it just your foot doesn't slide around which doesn't seem like that awful a thing or it can just make depending on what kind of socks you're wearing it could cause some issues uh i wanted to show you guys the, the get a good up detailed look on the left pair it has a6 branding and on the right pair it has a few uh, i don't want to take them out i've never been a fan of taking out the insoles but i'm keeping them i have no issues i'll return and report and let you guys know how it goes all right guys well that's it for my video today just wanted to keep it short sweet and concise uh, i'm going to be leaving you guys with some on feet pics just so you can see what it looks like uh, thank you so much for your support i truly value your your viewership i can't believe we have 84 subscribers nowhere in my mind that i think i'd even get 50 subscribers because again i just do this for fun i just do this on shoes that i like uh, i'll never be one of those uh hyped sneaker review youtube channels um but that's totally okay with me i i value each and every one of you guys so if you like this video feel free to hit that like feel free to hit that subscribe button no rush no no pressure uh, guys thank you so much for tuning in in the meantime and in between time check this out Thank you.